Okay, guys, what's up? Um, right now, um, we're going to be jailbreaking the iPhone 4 on iOS 6. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, pretty much download Red Snow, um, the 0.9.13 Dev 4. Um, you're going to go ahead and download the IPSW as well for your current iPhone or iPod Touch running iOS 6. This only works on iPhone 4 and new and older. You're going to go ahead and select your uh, IPSW. Select it right there. Uh, it says it's, it's going to be used for the rest. It's going to go back. We're going to go ahead and hit the jailbreak button. Now you're going to want to install SSH here. Um, it won't install Cydia. Um, we'll have to do an extra step after this. So now what you're going to want to do is on your iPhone, uh, make sure you're running the newest 6.0. Uh, you're going to go ahead and hold both buttons on your iPhone. And this will turn it off. Once it's turned off, you're going to go ahead and let it go. You can also do the slide to unlock. Oops, mine turned back on there. Go ahead and hold both buttons. And then once the Apple turns off, count to six. One, two, three, four. So you're going to go ahead and do that again if it comes up in recovery mode. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go ahead and let go of the power button. Keep holding the home button. And then you're going to press next in in Red Snow. And then once you once it's rebooting and installing the information, it'll show up on your screen. It'll run some uh, verbose mode, and it's uploading the RAM disk right now. And there you go. You get a bunch of text rolling. Now this is a tether jailbreak, of course. Um, I only suggest to do, use this 6.0 jailbreak if you need to install carrier settings, say, such as H2O settings or anything else like that. Uh, this 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 video is just going to be on how to jailbreak. Um, if you're looking to learn how to install carrier settings and other settings into your phone, such as um, uh, you know for tethering and stuff like that, uh, go ahead and watch my next video. I'm going to have up. We'll just go ahead and wait for this iPhone to reboot here. Now once it is rebooted, um, we're going to go ahead and go back here. Uh, we'll go ahead and select IPSW again. Select the same one. And then we're going to go ahead and wait for this to reboot. We're going to have to do use the just boot method. Since this is a tether jailbreak, we're going to be installing Cydia through the SSH method. Uh, this is currently the only method that you can use to install Cydia. So we'll go ahead and wait for this to install. It's doing it pretty fast on the iPhone 4. And it's done. It's going to reboot now. Now you can wait for this to reboot or you can't. It's up to you. I always like to wait to make sure everything went through fine. Okay, now once it's booted up, uh, we're going to go ahead and turn it off. Now we're going to go to the gist boot method. Now we're going to have to put it in DFU, to DFU mode again. So you're going to hold the top button. And once the Apple logo sh shows up, hold the bottom button and the top at the same time. Once the Apple logo disappears, you're going to let go of the top button after six seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six. And just keep holding the bottom button until it shows up in red snow. Okay, so it says patching files now. Now sometimes if this doesn't work, you might have to keep holding the home button 
while it's um, going through this step. Try it without holding the home button first because you don't want to press too long on your home button if you don't have to. Um, but if it, you know, if it's not working for you, try keep holding the home button throughout the entire process that it goes through. So we're waiting for it to upload the kernel now, and it's rebooting the phone, and we're done. So we're going to reboot Tether now. So now you're done in Red Snow. So you don't need either of those files. Now you're going to want to open up Terminal, and you're going to SSH root at and we're going to, once this boots up Tether, we're actually going to find the IP address of this phone on Wi-Fi. All right, so I'm going to do this off camera. All right, so my IP address is, so we're going to type SSH space R-O-O-T and, and the at symbol and then type your IP address. So mine is 10.0.1.58. We're going to go ahead and, in, and hit enter. Should take a couple seconds and it should pop up. In, you either have access denied or access granted. Um, you'll have to type in a password. The default password for all iOS devices is Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E. And we'll give this a few moments here. So we'll go ahead and bring this back on camera. Now you must be connected to the same Wi-Fi to do this, which I have not connected to. So we'll go ahead and restart this sequence right here. So we're going to type it again. So some people like me, I use a home network with a regular wireless and a 5 gigahertz wireless. So make sure you're connected to the same wireless. All the iPhones except for the iPhone 5 have the regular uh, non 5 gigahertz wireless. The iPhone 5 has the 5 gigahertz. Now it's going to ask you if you want to continue. You're going to type yes, of course. Ask you for the password. Like I said, it's all fine. Now you are in the root of your iPhone. So what you're going to do, you're going to want to copy this right here, just Command C, and you're gonna to wanna to paste that right into, right into there. And it's gonna say downloading devs. Now the rest of the process is automatic. You, have, you don't have to do anything. Uh, your iPhone will reboot and City will be installed. You don't need to do anything else. And you're good to go. So now we're gonna open up City here. Oh, you will have to, oh, it's still a racing cache. So we're waiting for it to finish up and then it should reset. All right, and then it reset. And then there's some things, if you guys wanna go subscribe to those guys or you know help them out. So we're gonna go ahead and slide this open and there you go now you have Cydia on your iPhone 4 or older device if you have any questions comments um, please let me know um, the next video is going to be on how to install MMS settings into your iPhone once you are jailbroken to iOS 6 thanks guys and have a good day